Hey girl, hey. I can speak Spanish hey, Bet you didn't know that I know a different language Hello, how are you? Is hola, como estas? I'd rather know a language than learn Mi música, música es mi vida Chica ven conmigo que te voy a enseñar música Pero tienes que bailar y voy a cantar, cantar Girl, I know you like this beat, but just hear me out Pero espera un momento Que estás bailando demasiado como el viento Tienes que cantar más suave despacito Guapa, voy a beber un poquito de vino contigo Que se busque la vida tu chico Jorge es su chico, no su nombre Y encima es un vago, un pesado, amargado Venga, vamos a las fiestas, vamos a bailar Que chica eres buena y tienes que descansar Girl, as you can see I can speak Spanish Hey girl, I can speak Spanish Bet you didn't know that I know a different language Hello, how are you? It's all I got my stats I'd rather know a language than learn boring maps I can speak Spanish, I can speak Spanish, I can speak Spanish, I can speak Spanish Cause they make me feel smart Loafers, loafers, 
loafers, loafers I like rocking loafers cause they make me feel smart Loafers, 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 loafers I like rocking loafers cause they make me feel smart Loafers, 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 loafers I like rocking loafers cause they make me feel smart Hope y'all are doing great. This is day two of CMSC 355. Please go ahead and get logged into Mentimeter. The uh, let me put that link in the chat for. Please go ahead and get logged into Mentimeter. If you don't participate on Mentimeter, I don't know whether you're alive or not, and I want to know if you're alive. I'm alive. I made it. Uh, as you guys guessed, I'm now 42. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started for today. I want to preface this today, and in general, we are trying some new, very exciting things in this class, um, like, for instance, doing some in-class programming online using uh, Replit. These are new things, though. We are trying these new things. We're going to see how they go. If they don't go, of course, we have the old way that we can fall back. If they don't go well, uh, of course, we have the old way that we can fall back upon, uh, but we're going to try this new way because we think it's better. Uh, but let's see how it goes. So, just be patient, be flexible, let's see what happens. I think it's going to be fun. Um, all right. So, first off, you know, we're all new to this class. Uh, usually, I would be able to see you, you'd be able to see me all in person, and it'd be, we would understand each other a little more implicitly. Uh, I want you to tell me something about yourself. Now, let me preface this with, I want it to be something that is interesting or different or let me give you an example or something that you might not guess for instance uh, i'm a farmer is a, is a good one because not many people are farmers these days i i would say if i had to tell you something about myself that you maybe couldn't have guessed is one time i got kicked out of king's dominion for jumping from boat to boat on the whitewater canyon i bet you couldn't have guessed that all right so tell me something uh interesting about yourself so we can just kind of get to know what kind of people are in this class what you're into whether you like to farm things like that my face out of the way for a second some, some people play ragtime piano that is cool uh, some people are mechanics it's not surprising that people that are technical or musical are into computer science <laughs> Some people can speed run games, have caught a fish using their bare hands. Hopefully they're not doing that catfish uh, catching where you could lose your finger. <laughs> Some people have been to Africa. Some people uh, know how to play b-ball, which is unusual for a computer scientist. I salute that. I used to play some soccer, or I still like to play some soccer occasionally. Noodling, that's what it's called. Uh, some people speak four languages. That's cool. Working out is a great hobby to have when you're a computer scientist or else you may grow to, uh, to be kind of uh, bigger than you might like to be. So that's great. Somebody else has been kicked out of King's Dominion. I'm sorry. It's a great place. You don't want to get kicked out if you can help it. Uh, some people like trains, some graphic design. Some people are a hillbilly in the big city. That's great. Uh, that's uh, part of what makes VCU is it interesting. We have all kinds of people. Some people are an NBA player. find that hard to believe, but okay, cool. If you are, welcome. All right, great. <laughs> That's funny. That's pretty cool. Field hockey looks like a lot of fun, actually. Uh, I've always wanted to play that, actually. All right, cool. Great to get to know y'all a little bit. Hopefully you got to know each other a little bit. If you saw something that was interesting in there, Maybe you can uh, try and find that person to be your partner. 
um you know you can try and find a partner in slack maybe uh say hey i was the person that had five siblings or was into uh what is it noodling or whatever so next up i would like for y'all to describe software engineering from the first class what do you think software engineering is uh you know how do you think it's different from just programming uh you know just let me know some things that you think about software engineering let's see how well y'all are paying attention in the first class yeah and field hockey is brutal by the way that is that seems like a rough sport i had friends uh, that played it in high school way back in the day and they would always come in the day after with like huge bruises on their legs <laughs> somebody thinks software engineering is sexy <laughs> Funny. Okay, so there's about 70 of y'all on the stream. I'll give you just another couple seconds to get a few more of your entries in there. If you see one you like, of course, you can put in more entries um, to reinforce some of the entries that are there. Let's see. So a lot of these are really good. Collaboration, teamwork, problem solving, very important in software engineering. I saw com complex or complexity. That's a big part of it. We're not just programming little itty bitty things. Um, so little itty bitty things were kind of what we did at 255 and 256. And even things that you thought were not little itty bitty were probably little. Uh, and so, Software engineering is all about scale. It's all about using frameworks. It's all about collaborating together. It's just, uh, it's all about using the tools. It's not really about writing the perfect algorithm to do some new, uh, like let's say it's not writing the next AI algorithm that's going to change the world on AI or like, you know, create a Terminator or something. It's more about creating systems that work and work reliably and do what they're supposed to and things like that. So good. It is sexy, I guess, to some people. Great answers. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and have our first quiz of the year. This quiz is not actually for a grade, but it is competitive. So we're gonna see which of y'all were paying the most attention last time. If you weren't here last time, sorry, you're at a disadvantage. Maybe you could read the syllabus real quick. We're gonna have a very short quiz here. Let's see how y'all do. Here we go. Answer fast to get more points. How important is your project grade? Is it really important? 40% of the grade overall, 50% of the grade overall, 45% um, of the grade overall, or what ifs? Get your guesses in. We'll see what the real answer is. Pretty hot music. That's right, it is really important because it is. 40% of your grade overall, way to go, those of y'all that got it. The rest of y'all, take note, 40%. Looks like Gavin is the fastest on the keyboard, followed by Danielle. Let's see who's gonna be our winner for today. Question two of six. Where should I ask questions outside of class? Some of you are learning this the hard way. Where should I ask questions outside of class? Should I yell them in the street? Should I tweet them? Should I call up my professor and have a heart to heart? Should I visit my professor at his house? Should I use Slack? Or should I email the TA? Or worse yet, email the professor? That's right. Excellent. Slack is the right answer there. I'm so glad that everybody got that one right. Looks like it's gonna be really close between Daniel and Gavin. 
Only four points separating them, followed by Jake and Fre Freya, Rebecca, Chaffee, Charizard, Oz, Dan, and Savannah. All right, question three of six. What is an example of a software development model? What is an example of a software development model? The swirly model? The drop and lock model? The Jimity Jam model? The spiral model? Or the cascading series? What is an example of a software development model? I give you a hint. It's the swirly. Just joking, it's the spiral. There is one that looks like cascading series, but that is called the waterfall model. The spiral is the only one here that is an actual software development model. All right, Daniel's taking the lead. Going into question number four of six. Who is teaching this class? Who in the world is teaching this class? Is it Costa C. Shepard, Bob Dahlgren, Zach Witt, John Leonard, John Leonard, David Shepard, or Jerome Jenkins? What do you think? Who is your teacher? Hey, there you go. David Shepard, that is right. All but one of y'all know who your teacher is. That is pretty good. It was much better than other classes have done on that question. <laughs> Joe Mama is moving up the ranks. Question five of six. What website will we use for coding activities? What website will we use for coding activities? Will we use Replit, TikTok, GitHub, Bitbucket, CNN, or Reddit? What do you think? And that's right, we will be using for in-class activities, which I would call coding activities, we will be using Replit. Replit is what we will be using. Now, we will be doing that today. Nice. All right, leading into our last question. Here we go. Question six of six. How can I thrive in this class once the project starts? How can I thrive in this class once the project starts? Should I code every day, every hour? Should I code two or three times per week? Should I complete the tutorials on C and Python? Should I finish everything in a week? Should I pull an all-nighter every Saturday? What do you think? Once the project starts, what would be a good way to thrive in this class? That's right. If you're coding two or three times a week, that's going to be excellent. Coding consistently is much better than coding just like once a week for a long time. Uh, completing tutorials to make sure you know C and Python and of course Java. That's very important as well. All right, let's see who our winners are. It's going to be close. But I believe Danielle is our winner for today. Way to go, Danielle. Followed by Benji, Jake, Joe, Joe Mama, Ash, Mike, Hannah, Pooja, and Dan. Way to go to all of y'all, our winners for today. All right. Uh, so that is the end of that part of class. I wanted to take just a second and give y'all a minute to ask any questions that you have on Minty. Uh, if you have any real questions on Minty, that's great. Of course, if you see questions that you like on there, you can upvote those questions. Um, if you don't have questions, that's totally fine. I just wanted to give you an opportunity 
if you do have any questions to get them out there. But let me know any questions that you might have. My day is going pretty good today. Pretty, pretty good. I missed the first four questions. More of a comment than a question, really. Give y'all another couple seconds. Now. Somebody's asking, are we going to have a quiz every Friday? Nope. We'll have a quiz every random once in a while just because they're fun and they get you thinking. But we will not have them every day or every Friday or any every anything. I have two cats. Replit will be the main no, Replit will be the main way to code your Friday in class coding activities. It will not definitely not be the main way to code your projects. So it is the main way to code your in class activities, not your projects. Yes, I have a GitHub. Uh, YouTube is the usual meeting spot. Yeah, uh, let me see that. So thank you for that. Um, somebody else mentioned that, and that is surprising. Let's make sure that I have fixed that. Uh, yeah, that's wrong. Sorry. YouTube five. Make sure I don't have Twitch anywhere else. Place. I. All right, fixed. Thank you. Telling me that. Syllabus is updated, yes. Uh, if you notice anything else wrong with the syllabus, let me know. It is updated. I just uh, apparently, I put the link in for YouTube, but I forgot to change words there. We will probably not have graded quizzes, but we will have graded in class activities. How is attendance taken? I do not take attendance, but we have these in-class activities every Friday at least um, that uh, you need to turn in. So kind of a de facto attendance there. Replit is free, yes. What will the project look like? We'll have two projects, remember. One will be a um, Xfig, a maintenance project in C. It's a smaller project, but it's in C and it's older and it's kind of like harder to get compiling and running and working and uh, it'll give you good experience in getting older projects set up and running and then of course we'll we'll do our regular make a app project that'll be smaller in scale but that'll be make a app on android from scratch okay so if you want to take tutorials on code academy on python or on c you should just basically get down the basics Assume you know the basics of programming from your other classes. You just want to know the basics of the syntax on Python and C. Uh, you don't need to be expert. Uh, if the class is uneven, will we be paired in groups of three? If we have somebody that is not in a group, we may have like one group of three, uh, but no more than one group of three, so I wouldn't count on it for your group. The textbook is uh, completely optional. You can get it if you want. Uh, yeah. Completely optional, though. What do I do if the questions don't load for the quiz? I don't know. You're going to have to talk to Minty. If you're having problems with Minty, that's not my problem. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to sound rude. That's not my problem, but that's some problem on their end. They're a big, you know, re relatively big and, and uh, reliable company, so uh, they should be able to help you. No, the coding practice, wait, coding practice links, the Code Academy. I mean, really, are you talking about the um, tutorials, I believe, to learn C and Python and stuff? No, but you could just simply Google uh, tutorial C, tutorial Python, maybe even tutorial free Python, tutorial free C. You can find a billion of them. Uh, uh, there is no way to cut down on the delay of the stream. I'm streaming on like, uh, you know, ultra low latency. So, um, yeah. Sorry, I don't know where you're at, but I'm at VCU uh, Engineering Building with an excellent connection. So hopefully you can find a place with a better connection, but it, it doesn't matter if it's a few seconds delayed. Um, if you're on, like, uh, if you're talking about Minty, if you're on Minty.com, <laughs> that thing updates probably faster than the stream does even. 
Are you going to update the dates on the syllabus? Uh, do something. Did I give you guys the wrong. Ooh, the wrong. Yeah, sorry. This is the wrong syllabus. That's I mean, that's the problem. I posted the wrong syllabus. That is the old syllabus that I was posting. There it is. Thought I updated that already. Okay. So did, I think I must have put the link to the wrong syllabus. All right, that's the problem. Let's do a quick fix there. Uh, that must be what's going down. About that. That is my bad. Go real quick while we're here together and make sure that everything is cool. Oh, shut up. You, there we go. Get all logged in. Go to Canvas. I want to make sure that everything is right for y'all. Clicks here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to edit this and make sure that it is the right link. And to edit it. And. All right, so for those of you that have uh, been asking, yeah, sorry, that was, uh, the link must have been wrong there. Um, so please check it out and make sure that that link is updated for y'all in Canvas. Uh, sorry about the confusion there. Of course, I teach this every year and I must have just posted the wrong link. Thank you again for letting me know that. Code Academy is free unless you want to get, uh, there is pro, of course, that you can get, but all the ones I link to are free. Thanks for telling me it was updated there in the chat. IntelliJ will work for Python for sure. I don't know if it works for C. Um, I, would, I would use VS Code for C. How did you study when you were in college? Did you have to retake any class? This is the, all right, I'll take a minute to answer this. The most important thing that you can do to do well in college from somebody that went to the exact same college as you, VCU for undergrad. I went to VCU for undergrad. And I got straight A's in undergrad. I was uh, really afraid I would lose my scholarship so because you had to keep a certain GPA. So I tried and got straight A's in undergrad. The only thing that I did that is of note, I went to every class. I went to every class. That is the number one tip. All you have to do is go to every class and you will probably get at least a B in most class. I mean, of course, there's some classes that are really hard, right? But if you go to every class and pay attention, you will probably do pretty well, okay? Go to every class, including every class for this one, but I'm talking about all your classes. It's easy if you do that. Are you allowed to do the activities individually? The today's activities are individual. Every in-class activity is individual. Yep, Cleon and PyCharm are available to students for free and pretty great IDs. I, I've used PyCharm. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I haven't used Cleon, but I'm sure it's great. Oh, Sea Lion. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure it is. IntelliJ is awesome company. I don't give out straight A's. I would like to. If you guys all do what you're supposed to, I'll definitely give them out. I'm happy to do that. Uh, but you have to do what you're supposed to. And it turns out there's always a few jokers each year that don't do what they're supposed to. But hopefully that won't be you. Is there a way to gain full access to the Code Academy tutorials without paying for it? Uh, I believe so. With Code Academy, if you're really into those and you want to get the full access, just get the trial and cancel it after. 10 days or something. I think you have 30 days. That's what I would recommend. Um, if you're organized and, and disciplined enough to do it, just do it. You're not going to be using that the whole semester, right? You just need to use that in the next week or two to put a reminder on your calendar and put your credit card in for just a few days and then, you know, take it out. Do we have to use terminal for this class? Um, when you're installing the C program, you will probably need to uh, use the terminal to get it to compile. Probably. 
Uh, yeah, students have. Uh, lectures are automatically recorded and posted on my YouTube channel. For instance, this should be titled CMSC 355 day two. They are automatically recorded on my YouTube channel, so just go and find them. First one was like CMSC 355 introduction. They are automatically recorded and posted on YouTube. Let me know if you, uh, they aren't there, but only if you've actually tried to find them. Uh, they're pretty easy to find. Yes. W3 schools is probably good enough. Uh, we already went over that. The project, the app project won't be huge because they were only doing that kind of halftime. And the C project is not huge by any means, but it's just, you know, it's a little bit bigger than your toy projects that you've worked with so far, probably. Whew. Okay, lots of questions. Great that we get those out of the way. Great questions. Um, yeah, you can definitely post your projects to personal GitHubs, absolutely. And what kind of app are we building? You're going to be able to Ill build a Android app. Um, but it is going to be an app of your choosing um, and kind of choose what it does in a certain bounds. All right, we're going to have to move on now. Great questions, great questions. We are now doing what I call Coding Fridays, okay? Coding Fridays, the basic idea is we are going to learn to code together by... It's almost like more like a sports practice than it is a class right now. We're going to code together. What I want you to do is, here is link. Um, I'm giving you a link to the project, and I'm going to put that in the chat. I want everybody, hopefully you have a Replit account. If you don't get one, open that link and hit fork. Open that link and hit fork. You will see a, like basically a IDE now. You'll see terminal or console on the right and see code and uh, some information here. And I'll give you all just a second to do that. What I want you to do is everybody press the heart button when you have caught up to me. OK, everybody press the heart button when you ha have forked it. You have a Replit account and you are ready to go. When we get to 40, we're going to go ahead and start. There we go. All right, we're at 40, so we're going to go ahead and start now. For one minute, just watch what I'm doing, and then you will go off and do your own thing, okay? Here's what we're going to do. This is Hangman. Let's run it together. I'm going to run it. You know, there, again, there's code here, the console here. There's your files are all here. I'm going to hit run just to show you what it's like. Hit run. And I see this is a console-based game. Um, it says, I'm thinking of a word that is seven letters long. You have seven tries to guess the word. Good luck. So what letter class do you want me to guess? Put it in the chat, obviously. Hmm. S. All right, the first one is S. Um, that didn't work out. Next one is H. Uh, yeah, that did work out pretty well. The next one is A. That did not work out. C, A, uh, D, and P, a P. We have five guesses left. Um, I already do E. Ooh. A uh, T. A U. And we have three guesses left. And R. 
Why? And C. All right. Word was psyche. We won. All right. That's the game of Hangman. Not so complicated. Great job, guessing team. Now, here's what we're going to do this is the file. Okay, it's not very long, only 107 lines long. And here, if we go to the read, here's the description. It tells you how to play and stuff. Here is the README. Uh, the first thing that we want y'all to do is add Hangman ASCII art to, that adds a, a body part every time the player guesses a letter wrong. So you remember way up here, there's kind of this Hangman thing right here. They want you to, every round that you have a, one less guess, add a body part, okay? So uh, that is what we're going to try and do right here. You can even, there's the template of the, of the body art that you might want to use. Um, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to also start doing it. So if you feel completely lost, you could you know, just watch me. Um, but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put on a little music. We're going to code. And then we're going to see how this goes. Once you finish, if you're able to finish, you know, we only have about 20 minutes left, then go ahead and let me know in the chat. You could just say finished. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, that's what we're going to try. So I'm going to put on some music a little bit quietly. And we're going to go ahead and code. Go for it. I became exactly what I wanted to. I became a millionaire at 22. Telling girls I love them and they love me too. I don't question if they mean it cause I know they do. Started being me when I realized it was okay too. Middle school bumping Waka Flocka all they do. First album and I know just how it's gonna debut. Track three is why I tell her we gon' rendezvous. I'm signed to the gatekeepers. Don't believe the gossip cause it ain't true. Half for the dreams I had already came true. And they never told me anything I couldn't do. I got a mirror in my room I like to look into. At 17, I never thought that I would look this cute. Classmates can't believe the place I took it to. If I didn't rap, then I would be a good masseuse. Fun fact, but it's a hidden talent because she rubbing my back. All these different cities, I'm becoming sidetracked. She leaving my hotel wearing something I packed. My wardrobe spread across the whole map. Jay Wise used to book me for the open mics. Kills me when they act like this was overnight. Like we didn't do a tour in a tiny van. Mm. A deep at the show, it might be eight fans. Mm. That builds character, something y'all could probably use more of. If I told the truth to her, I know she'd be tore up. They love it when I rap and I don't even put a chorus. Turkey on Shabbat from the deli shot the Moras. 30 grand to show up, we might as well pour up. Fake handshakes, we know you ain't going for us. Ooh, it's something about your aura, I know. Face of my city, co signed by Diddy. Hard liquor, I'm sh hotel, some bitty. Gotta do in my bidding. You change, no kidding. Wasn't always this pretty. Run with me, I'm fitting. Fourth quarter, ninth inning. Ain't no way we ain't winning. Back home for a week. Ain't no way we ain't sinning. If she came to stay with me, ain't no way she ain't pretty. Got the eight away hitting. Y'all some internet thugs. Won't come face to face with me. Y'all would hate to play with me. Tell me, tug it one time. She'll pay to stay skinny. I done been on that road. I done ate some great dinnies. Yeah. And some cracker bro, little brother with me selling jack of pearls. She a rich girl, she done had Camaros. Keep it two, keep it willy caviar. A white boy with a little habanero. I just hit a hundred, I was at a zero. I'm a big boss, you just at a bureau. Hometown hero, tell him at a mural. On the face of my city, co signed by Diddy. Hard liquor, I'm sh. Hotel with some bitty. Gotta do my bidding. You changed, no kidding. Wasn't always this pretty. I'm the man of my city, yeah. Can't with me, nah. Book bag 350, cash. Got my hand on my blicky. 
My swag on dance for real. First come then I'm paying the bills. Bums, they got nowhere to live. I ain't chasing nothing but me some ill. I ain't beefing with them that kids. I should put them over my knee and spank them. I was thinking that they would have been thankful. Pretty she be killing the mangos. We turn a killer right into an angel. I start demolishing when I'm angry. But don't be following me that danger. Still in the park with my little hitters bang. I ran my projects before I was famous. Straight from the bottom, you know I ain't changed. Everything cash, you know how I play. Like I love it, you know I ain't stand. Pass it to the dog, you know how I play. Act like I'm dumb, but you know I ain't crazy. Big baby. On the face of my city. Co signed by Diddy. Hard lick, I'm Hotel, some bitty. Gotta do in my bidding. You changed, no kidding. Wasn't always this pretty. Tell me who they seen you on the avenue with. The playing field ain't level, that's how I engineered it. You don't know when I'ma pop up and when I'm disappearing. Lately it's been something I don't really like in your spirit. While it's lame, made the beat and nigga John engineered it. She ain't flying in spirit. She's a Delta, not the kind with the pyramids. You got something that I'm trying to experience. Leaving comments, got them all getting curious. Couple phone calls, now we calling it serious. I say I'm in love when I fall for appearances. It's a lot of clubs trying to call for appearances. Last one I did, I caught a vibe with the bottle girl. Told her that I'm leaving, but I call when I'm here again. That was West Virginia, don't know when I'll be there again. People in my circle wonder when I'll be arrogant. Feel like they can't wait to say I stepped out of Kurgan. She said that she wanted me to take care of her. She said she want me to London in person. She said, do your thing long as I don't embarrass her. Damn, I ain't even get to test on my character. She ain't flying in spirit. She's a Delta, not the kind with the pyramids. You got something that I'm trying to experience. Leaving comments, got them all getting curious. Couple phone calls, now we calling it serious. I say I'm in love when I fall for appearances. It's a lot of clubs trying to call for appearances. Last one I did, I caught a vibe with the bottle girl.
I know you hate the way we drifted, but we both decided this party and we lifted. So what's up? I'ma sit my drink and crack a big smile just to see if I can still get you. Cause it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute now. Your friends just started listening to my music, but I've been in style. You said that I play too much, but we both know I've been a child. I asked you when you got to town. You say that you've been in town. It's fed up. So you just wasn't gonna hit me. Looking like this, you thought it wasn't gonna tempt me. I'm sorry, but you ain't gotta bar me up. You should come and step into my world just like Narnia. I won't do no harm to you. Come on, let's find a quiet spot. How's your sister and your niece? Does she still cry a lot? Who you talking to now? Are y'all about to tie a knot? Hope not. Speak now. Hold your peace. I will make that show stop. Remember back when I would come and spend the night at your house. Wake up by myself in bed because you be at the stovetop. Walk inside the kitchen, put my hands up. <laughs> Let me stop. Please excuse me. I know these are heavy thoughts. A man's greed can't see the things that he's already got. Did up between us cause I wanted you and every thought. Things would only worsen when you let me rock. Your bestie tried to warn you, but you told her that he said he'd stop. You used to say her man was trash and tell me about the way he'd act. I would shake my head until I realized I'm the same as that. Now I wonder, did she tell her man that I'm a trash dude? And would he shake his head until he realized he was trash too? I know this reunion's unexpected, but it's past due. At least if you ask me, I won't ask you. So what you about to do? I know you hate the way we drifted, but we both inside this party and we lived it. So what's up? I can tell who's on the way out. 25 show, check the pair. I ain't going home, I'ma stay out. Motherfuckers hate you when they looking for a way out. I just sit back and let it play out. Yeah, she gon' let me hit it any day now. What you gonna say now? Love my ex girl got a bait now. But she still let me stay now. I got a Dallas and an H Town boo. Got a Betty out in Cape Town too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whole gang in steakhouse food. Get the check, I ain't checking what it came out to. I tell promoters I don't talk about the money, you know who they hand the envelope to. Big John got the cash and he been the go-to. Heard the beat, told Nicky put it in the Pro Tools. Got a fountain on the chain and it's indigo blue. Might fuck around and get a gold tooth. I'm a restaurant boy, never been a Whole Foods. She gon' listen to the song, say this shit the whole mood. I'm in the mountains out west on the tour bus texting a chick I used to mess with. Got her in the bed doing video shoes. Tried to send one to me, but it didn't go through. Damn. She gon' let me hit it any day now. What you gonna say now? Show, check the pair. I ain't going home, I'ma stay out. Motherfuckers hate you when they looking for a way out. I just sit back and let it play out. Yeah, she gon' let me hit it any day now. What you gonna say now? Of my ex girl got a bait now, but she still let me stay now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. All right, hey, uh, quick note, guys and gals. Uh, for those of you that are finishing up, good for you. You're faster than me. Uh, I am. Uh, Still type in here. Um, what I want you to do is go to Gradescope and submit it. Gradescope, of course, uh, you'll see Gradescope has some kind of. Hold on, let me fix it. Actually, hang and game. All right, so just upload a short video of your Hangman game working in MP4 format and make sure you show that it's on your computer by either taking the video via cell phone, kind of showing that it's your room or whatever, at, or by showing you know your e-services login or your email on the screen. And anyway, go ahead and upload that. Uh, I'm gonna come back and talk about the solution and I'm gonna finish up here in just a second. Uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, call it a day. But anyway, uh, go ahead, if you're done, upload that video on Gradescope. Yeah. I 
I get paid to do me, that's a fact check. I run it up, then retrace my last steps. I'm in the eardrums talking about assets. Do you wanna yes. hold up? I ain't even asked yet. She got her hair done, she finna need it redone. Damn. What up? So good. So good. Stuck it in, damn, that almost made me pre. Whoa. I let her give me some advice like I need some. Like I need some. Booked up, tell her dumb, read some. Read some. I'm annoying it. I'm the boss. I done came out of pocket so much. Whoa. You thought that I was disjointed. They pointed me towards your disc. Mm, I'm disappointed. disappointed. My ex treat me like I ain't there. Yeah. What happened to the feelings and love that we still share? Huh? Just like the girls who got my name tatted and covered up. I know deep down, under the surface, it's still there. It's still and she there. won't let me hit it any day now. What you gonna say now? Of my ex girl got a bait now. But she still let me stay now. I can tell who's on the way out. 25 shows, check the pair. I ain't going home, I'ma stay out. Motherfuckers hate you when they looking for a way out. I just sit back and let it play out. And she gonna let me hit it any day now. What you gonna say now? Of my ex girl got a bait now. But she still let me stay now. With him, told me he ain't got a preference. Had them both down, and I asked a few questions. Met last week, and they already best friends. Already best friends. Man. Met last week, and they already best friends. Friend. Met last week, and they already best friends. She's a joy to stay fresh, man. Told her I'ma pull up at your place at 10. Girl, you look good, I would risk everything. Make me forget what safe sex is. I'ma finish right now. I don't take breaths in. I recommend you don't listen to your friends. It ain't been the same since they stepped in. 25 deep in the same section. I'm on fuck you off here. Tell me this ain't something that you do often. I can't say the same, so use caution. Use caution. Just say, came me with an F and two girls with him told me he ain't got a preference. Got him on the phone and I asked a few questions. Met last week and they already best friends. Already best friends. Met last week and they already best friends. Sweet, and they already best friends. Two at a time, laying in my bed. One at the top, and the other give me. Girl, on no girl, I love to taste. You can run around, I love to chase. If you need a break, cause you thirsty. Don't trip, cause I know you're burning up. She says she loves me, but she want her. 11 11. Baby, make a wish, and I'ma do what you want. Ain't no more intermission. I'm trying to see what you just saying, came me with an F and two girls with him, told me he ain't got a preference. Got them both down and I asked a few questions. Met last week and they already best friends, already best friends. Met last week and they already best friends, 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 friends. Met last week and they already best friends. She brought a buddy in, what you studying? Education, that's where the money is. You think you funny, huh? Yeah, I'm the funniest. So what about you? A friend replied, I don't go to school. Okay, what you do? I'm a dancer. And quick question, are you a cancer? I said, hell nah, where you dance at? She said, blue flame, this to be jam-packed. I said, damn facts, so where y'all mans at? They said, what's that? They smiled at each other and they both laughed. I don't need a man, she my other half. We got something not a lot of others have. And I feel like I know it from the past. I mean, at this point, we're like lesbians. Then they had another laugh. Just saying, came in with an F and two girls with him, told me he ain't got a preference. Got them both down and I asked a few questions. Met last week and they already best friends, already best friends. Met last week. All right, all right. Uh, we are, oh, somebody says they're not seeing it on Gradescope. Are y'all, oh yeah, I bet some of y'all, uh, I need to resync my roster, which I will do real quick. Uh, real quick, probably some of y'all have come in and out of the class. All right, so everybody, come on back, come on back. You can share how you did it. Uh, I didn't, I didn't quite finish yet, but um, you can get the idea. Everybody, come on back and let's look at.
Class is not due. Uh, this is not to do. You guys don't see it. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me check it out. Assignments. That is sure that it is east. Yet not bad. All right. Now it should be released. Please check it out again. Please check it out again. Uh, and let me know if you see it release. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. Anybody that wants to kind of talk about the solution, let's come on back and talk about the solution. All right. So everybody that wants to talk about it, here's what I would have done. I didn't quite finish, but you'll get the idea. So there's this definition load words. I would ignore that because we don't care what's going on there. This is a print hangman thing, which I'll go over in a minute. That's what I was doing. Um, what I was thinking to do is basically have a, oh man, close this aggressively. Yeah. All right, so here's the play game loop. And you can see that there's this while misses left. Um, it continues to go through the game again and again. And so I moved <coughs> the printing of the hangman to within this loop. <coughs> you can see it right here. And then I created a method that prints out the hangman. And see that here. And it's not, uh, I think I have like an off by one error, but anyway, you can get the idea. You could just do like if, if the parameter is equal to seven, then print this, six, print this, five, print this. But I was trying to be clever and do it um, by the numbers. Yep. So Brandon, for instance, he said he just brute forced it and he called it. Um, yeah, like the new gallop is for each possible int. That is definitely one way you could do it. Um, and I was just trying to do it since y'all are maybe learning from me. Uh, I was trying to do it a little more cleverly, but you could have definitely done it the way that Brandon did it if you're trying to go for speed. Um, are there any questions about that approach? Do y'all get the idea? So, you know, here is the main loop. Here's the main loop right here. And here I just inserted the print hangman. Yeah, and uh, Brandon's mentioning there's no switch case in Python. Yep, that would be nice if you're going to brute force it especially. But, well, it would be nice in general. Do you all see how that worked? I don't want to belabor the point, but hopefully you've gotten to where you're reading some code. You see where we could put in this thing. Uh, okay, so somebody's asking, where is the print hangman function? I just made it. I made it. It's right here. Um, and it basically is going line by line. So I print the first thing and then for line one, you can see I have a comment here for line one. Um, the count is less than seven. Uh, then I think I do that prematurely, but anyway, if it's, um, yeah, if it's less than seven, then put that otherwise print the empty gallows, right? And then line two, here's how I decide what to print for line two, because it's really either that or nothing. And then here's line three, you know, if the count is greater than five, uh, then you know, there's nothing there. If it's equal to five, then you have one arm. If it's equal to four, you have two, an arm and a trunk. And if it's uh, otherwise, which means it's gonna be three or less, then you uh, put all of the things there, right? And then here's line four. You can see some things I've done is put comments and tried to chunk it into kind of understandable parts. Um, all right, any other questions? We're gonna wrap it up here in just a second because I gotta go, but I wanted to walk y'all through that just very quickly. Um, 
any other questions on how that would be done, remember to upload your MP4 videos onto um, Gradescope. This is due to, um, ah, so this is a great question. Well, first of all, when is it due? It's due today at 3 a.m. or tomorrow at 3 a.m. It's basically tomorrow by 3 a.m. Uh, or it might, uh, let me tell you, let me double check though. When is it exactly due? I don't tell you wrong. Yeah, tomorrow 28th at 3 a.m. is when it's due. Make sure you get it done by then. Uh, somebody said, how do you update count? Well, that's the whole thing. I'd never updated count because I rely on them to update count. Um, so you can see print hangman takes as input misses left, which is something that they update. I don't have to worry about it because I'm just using their variable that already existed. Um, Somebody's asking, do we have to make it give a new word at the end? No, you just have to make it print out the hangman correctly and really just show me that it's printing out the hangman each time. That'll be good enough. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. The count, somebody's asking, where is the count previously defined? Here, if you click on it, you'll see the IDE helps you with that. Mrs. Left is defined up here as seven. And then if you look down, I bet it is. If you screw up, it changes Mrs. Left by one, right? So now what you'll notice too in class, um, some of y'all will be faster than me at programming. Some of y'all will be slower. I'm pretty deliberate because I, first of all, I'm doing it in front of class. I'm listening to music that I like and sometimes I forget to program because I like this music. I never listen to music when I actually program. Um, but yeah, some of y'all might end up being faster programmers than me in the end, and that's fantastic. I hope you are. Um, but uh, we're all gonna kind of just learn this together. We're gonna practice it every Friday. And no, you don't have to do number two part in the README file. You just need to do the part that we talked about. Do not need to do part two. Um, and also, I want to encourage you, you can talk about this in the chat while you're doing it, okay? So we can kind of, if we were in class, like we could just talk about this openly. So I want you to do that. You can do it on Discord. You can hang out with each other on Discord during class and, and talk about it. Absolutely fine. This is like our time to code together. Um, I'm going to kind of walk, try and walk you through the answers afterwards a little bit, but we're all going to just be here coding together. That's what we're going to do. Just the video of part one. That's right. Any further questions? Oh, somebody's asking, why do I go from less than to greater than to equal to? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just uh, kind of random, really. I should have <laughs> I should have been consistent. That's a great question, says Kass. Uh I should have been consistent there. Um, so, you know, he, he brought out, he or she, I don't know, brought out a great point. Um, here I have less than, less than, then I start going greater than and greater than. Uh, so I should have been like more consistent in how I do that. I should probably, because it is kind of confusing. That's a great point. You want other people to understand your code. So that's great. Somebody's saying, what is the entry code for grade scope? I don't understand what you're saying for that. If you are enrolled in the class, you should be part of the roster. Let me see, for instance, if Kenneth Oliver, if you are, part of the um, roster, just to double check. Yeah, so you're here, there's no entry code, you should just be able to get in there and uh, go ahead and upload it. Right, any other questions that y'all might have, please let me know. <laughs> Gradescope is a pain the first time, maybe, but um, use your VCU email. That's a trick. Uh, definitely use your VCU. Look, here's the email you're using. Just that at vcu.edu. Your name at vcu.edu. Do not use any other email or else you will have problems. Always use your VCU edu email. And I'm going to have to go in just a second. So please get in those questions if you have any. Otherwise, that is the end of class. Yeah, and check your email for a link to Gradescope. Anybody else got questions? I got to run. It's been fun. Thank you so much for trying out this experiment with us. I think this is going to be a fun way to do some coding every Friday. It's a lot more fun than just watching class. 
uh, you know, and, and just sitting there passively. And you can see me kind of struggle through some of these too, because I have not done these before. Uh, and so, yep. All right. Talk to you all on Monday. Take it easy.